what does everyone actually do in Joe's policy hype house? This episode breaks down every starting position on the White House roster. This is the Liberal Consports Center. Let's talk about each draft pick in order of presidential succession. After Kamala, Nancy, and Chuck Grassley. No, whoever we want. Next in line for POTUS is the Secretary of State, our most visible statesman, traveling everywhere, helming international policies, foreign aid, intelligence, and now telling the rest of the world we don't suck so much anymore. Treasury, the Department of Money, Money. will be led for the first time by a woman. Janet Yellen will advise President Biden on the economy and oversee America's bad credit. Insert Hamilton joke. The Department of War, really, it was renamed in 1949, is America's guilty pleasure where we spend all our cash. Like retail therapy for our country, but tanks. The Attorney General is the top Sam Waterston in America. It's the place law school actually paid off. It'll be nice to have a civil rights division that cares about rights. For the Department of Nature, Deb Holland would be the first Native American in a cabinet role ever. Huge! to oversee the land that was her ancestors. Wow, it's like someone stole your house and they're letting you manage it as an Airbnb. The Department of Farms and Feeding the World. This guy decides what to do with all that dairy in an oat and cauliflower milk society. The Commerce Department is the Department of Business, also manages the US Census. The basic addition of who is here got really political this time, so rest assured many of you are going to be marginalized. Check in with your state assembly on that one. The Department of Labor is the Department of Work. Grit, Department of not screwing over the middle class. Department denying Jeff Bezos child labor. To win over the largest audience, most experts expect Biden's nominee to be Tom Holland lip syncing. Wait, we got a new pick coming in. Uh, yes, we're headed to correspondent Esteban Gas in the field. Josh, it's Marty. It's Marty Walsh. He's the new secretary of labor. Just as I expected. The first Latino heading up HHS, the Department of Healthcare, is Javier Becerra. The last powerful U.S. leader whose name started with X was Dr. Xavier. Healthcare is a mutant right, not just a privilege for those with healing powers. Sorry, that was Bernie Magneto? HUD, the Department of Affordable Housing, and soon the Department of Fudge. Her merch is going to be lit AF, as the youth say, circa 2015. Transportation, the Department of Less Lousy Commutes. Good thing Mayor Pete oversaw a fleet of 20 bus routes in South Bend, Indiana. I'm confident the first millennial secretary will have a solid season driving this team, though. Caught him on the campaign trail this November and can attest he's streamlined the beer run. The Department of Energy. Venice Beach is sending Governor Granholm fully charged crystals. This is the Department of Power, Department of Nukes, and pre-LED bulbs sold by the concierge in John Wick. The principal for the new Department of Schools is Miguel Cardona, which is great. A product of public education in neighborhoods Betsy DeVos would never let her kids near. Veteran Affairs, the Department of Heroes. It's a position that tends to only net you news if you're doing a bad job. Something a former White House Chief of Staff is used to. Good luck, Dennis. We're all rooting to not hear about you. Homeland Security, helmed by a U.S. immigrant. Love me, a Latino managing the redesign of wall.gov. Mayorkas will head counterterrorism, maritime security, cybersecurity, an immigrant taking all our cool jobs. Other cabinet level positions include the White House Chief of Staff, managing inner office communications and internal fires, the Ned Stark. Ron Klain will also be the person who has to pretend the president has an emergency to get out of boring meetings. Uh, sir, we gotta leave. It's, um, it's Canada. They've ran out of syrup. We, we gotta go. The Environmental Protection Agency, you get this one. The EPA's job is to lick their fingers, put it in the air and say, seems clean. Since saving the world was not a problem worth focusing on these past four years, the new EPA head will be flanked by old faces and fresh positions. John Kerry leading special teams abroad, and Gina McCarthy as defensive coordinator at home. The head of OMB is COO of America, making sure we balance our accounting sheets and don't run out of toner. This is the ultimate, I want to speak to your manager, GM role. The ambassador to the UN is Team USA's head cheerleader, so when the defense or state department says bring it on, they come with pom-poms and aid, a spirit squadron of aid. The Council of Economic Affairs offers advice on how we get out of the financial mess this last guy started, as does trade representative with import exports and the Small Business Administration, so we don't just bail out the rich guys again. Again, again. This is far and away the most qualified, diverse, spiciest leadership in US history. The last batch was unseasoned tofu. 
But don't expect any of these appointments to come easy. Democrats fought tooth and nail against the Murphy's Law of Hires for these posts last time, and Mitch is really good at playing keep away. He is one hungry, hungry hippo, turtle. Ask Merrick Garland. That's the show. You sure learned something. Uh, maybe, I mean, you might be more confused about other things, but isn't that what always happens when you start paying attention to how government actually works? Like, subscribe, hire me and my team, send me flowers, a recipe comment with praise or righteous indignation. Thanks for watching.